Oh, whoa, 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 here's another one right here. What's up, everyone? Today we're at the beach. It's actually just right over those hills. I can hear the crashing of the waves. And today we're gonna be looking for some prehistoric fossils. We'll be checking for clam shells, snail shells. So let's go see what we can find today. According to fossil identification charts, the fossils in this area are from the Nye Mudstone era, which puts an age on these fossils of about 15 to 20 million years old. Every time I find one of these fossils, I'm just, I'm amazed that I'm holding a piece of history that's so old, and I'm probably the first person to ever see this or hold it in my hands. I think we're gonna find something really cool. When the waves come up, it just fills up this creek with water. Watch it as it comes up. And so the constant motion of the water going out and coming back in is just uncovering new fossils. So we're going in. Oh, here we go. I'm pretty sure that this is one right here. You can see it right here in the water. Looks like a clam, and it is. It is a clam fossil. Let's go check this out. Oh man, that is so cold. But this is what makes it worth it. Check this out. This clam was alive about 15 to 20 million years ago. That is just insane to me. Look at this. Look how perfectly preserved it is. I love finding these. Every time you find one, it's like a piece of prehistoric treasure. It's like finding a dinosaur bone and it never gets old. The majority of them that I find, I leave because I have a really cool collection. So basically what I'm looking for when I come out here are fossils preserved very well like this. I'm very picky with my fossils. I wanna leave some for other people to find. Let's go see if we can find some more. All right, back in the water. You can also find very large cluster type fossils. I never really keep these, but uh, this, is, this is basically mudstone or sandstone that's just full of clam shells, snail shells, and other kinds of animals. I always like to leave these, but um, they're still really cool to find. Looks like we've got one right here. All right, let's take a look at this one that we got. So cool, it's smooth. It's almost like a crystal on top or marble. Look at that, very beautiful. Oh, here we go, keeper number three. Look at that, hanging out right there. So that's what you're looking for. You can see that there's a, there's a white on one side, brown in the middle, and then white on the other side. That's usually the shape of the clam, so we're gonna pick it up. And look at that. That is so cool. Three of the same kind. But man, are those beautiful. I'm gonna check this out. You don't see too many of these around here. Very big, beautiful shell. It's not a fossil, but uh, it's really pretty. I can use that for decoration. I'm gonna keep it. Here's another really cool thing you can look for. Look for any kind of like blue, blue coloration. See that little blue rock right here is a blue agate. Let's pull that out of the water and show you. So this is a see-through crystal rock. If you, shine a, if you shine a light through it, you're gonna see all the way through it. And whenever you put it underwater, these little edges right here will look a very distinct blue color. All right, well, I'm gonna jump out of the water. My feet are freezing. This water is so cold. Uh, my feet don't hurt anymore um, because they're numb. And I don't wanna get frostbite on my foot, on my feet, so I'm gonna get out. Okay, let's take a look at what we've ended up with today. All right, so here's what we ended up with. We got one of these clamshell fossils here. We got another one, looks like the same species, very well preserved. Uh, this one's a, not as well preserved, but it's got some cool cracks in it, and I think that gives it some character. This one's by far the best preserved of the day. It still has the little ridges, some cool cracks. And the back end is very well preserved, and it almost has a marble type look to it. We got our blue agate that we talked about. That was pretty cool to find. It's pretty big too. And this giant shell. This thing is so cool. I don't know what kind of animal this is from. Some kind of scallop. I'll have to do some research. But really cool. Very beautiful. You don't find them that big around here very often. And especially in this good of shape. So pretty excited about this. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you like my first vlog. I wanted to take you guys on an adventure. I know that when I make videos on TikTok um, and I live stream, I'm not able to take you guys outside. So I want to use these vlogs as a way to take you on these adventures with me and show you the cool things that I get to see all the time. 
and um, hopefully inspire you to go out and do the same thing. Also, picking up trash along the way. I'm out here on the beach. I noticed that there's a couple things of trash. I'm gonna pick those up, put them in my treasure bag, and throw those away as well. So get out there, have some fun, make a difference, and we'll see you on the next video.